Well, hi guys, and welcome to another instalment of my angling diary. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that watched the second one. Some really nice comments, and thanks to everyone that liked it and shared it. It really does give me the motivation to keep dragging the camera kit along and, uh, and documenting all my angling. Um, we are now the last week of March. Um, we've just had the big one show at Farnborough. So thanks to everyone that come along and saw us on the stand there. It really has been a fantastic few weeks rounding off show season um, some really good responses to the new products coming out mostly for that thing behind me there the tempest v2 brolly i mean that really did go down well at the show um, and a lot of people purchased it so i hope you're getting out there and using it and enjoying it um, so yeah the last time we caught up i was fishing on the manor for pike and it ended up being my last session on there for pike and a nice way to end one just over 19 uh, not what we're after as we were sort of saying the whole way along we thought there was going to be a real monster in it and uh, there probably still is so we'll have to have another go next year but unfortunately it didn't happen for us um, but what did happen uh, which i've bored everyone to death as i'm sure you know on social media is i had the most remarkable day on the river test uh, accomplishing something that I'll never ever do again uh, a brace of river 30 pound pike it was my first 30 pound pike um, and I followed it up an hour later with an even bigger 30 pound pike so it really was a dream dream come true um, I haven't got any great footage of that I didn't have the big camera along with me it involved a lot of walking and uh, I couldn't really film the venue out of respect for people that fish there um, so unfortunately I haven't got the greatest bit of footage a little bit of amateur video footage of them uh, but yeah for those that care the first one was 31.6 and the second one was 32.7 and uh, they really have made my winter so so memorable um, the chub was absolutely amazing in the last blog uh, but then to catch them pike it really has been a winter I'll never ever repeat and never forget um, but anyway we're back out with the cart rods now and we're back on the manor uh, and conditions are good. Like I said, we're last week of March. I've got a few days in lieu to use for working the shows the last few weeks. So I'm gonna try and take advantage of the next couple of weeks, sneak the odd night in here and, the, in, and, uh, and there. But now I've got tonight, tomorrow, and possibly tomorrow night, depending on what I've got going on at home. But it feels good, temperatures are up. It's, uh, it's no lower than about eight degrees over the next couple of days and highs are 13 in the day. Uh, and we've got them southwesterlies back, which is nice because we've had them horrible easterlies and it's been it's been dire. But yeah, it seems like they've woken up. The lake has done a few bites, which is always good. So they're moving about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this fairly short. I know it's in the last one. There's quite a few check-ins, so I'm going to try not to do that so much in this one. Try and sort of keep you updated when things have happened. Uh, but I'll keep picking up the camera and, and getting little snippets of bits. But hopefully we'll see you see you with the carp shortly because there's some real biggins due. See you in a bit. update guys um, well as you can probably tell no action through the night um, and it is now the following day uh, about half past three quarter to four uh, I've been bivy bound all day long until about five minutes ago when this lovely little break in the weather's come and now the sun's out and it's actually really really nice um, yeah so nothing in the night and uh, woke up to torrential rain and it hasn't stopped like I say so I wasn't feeling that confident today um, until about half past ten I think it was, might have been caught to 11. Uh, Michael, friend on the other side, had a really nice mirror, uh, one of the Avely strain ones that's in here. It was just over 35. Um, so I reeled in, run round, helped him with the pictures. It was really nice to see a fish on the bank. It's got the juices flowing. And uh, because of that, I am going to do another night. I was going to go home, uh, but I'm going to do the night and go straight from, uh, straight from here to work in the morning. I could have tomorrow off as well. I've got a few days in loo from working the shows, as I say, uh, but I'll probably judge it on how it's looking and what's gone on. But feeling good now, looks really nice. Um, just looking over the camera there, nice breeze on the water now. Um, it feels a lot warmer than it did uh, earlier on today. Like I say, it's been raining all day, but it hasn't felt very warm at all. But now that the sun's come out, it's a little bit of warmth in the air. Um, sort of westerly winds, um, so it feels quite nice. Uh, yeah, and there's no more rain forecast for a little while, I don't think. So yeah, there's a couple of other lads coming on tonight. I think we're gonna get a takeaway and um, have a bit of a social um, and hopefully Hopefully one of us on this bank will have a fish in the night. Now I'll try and get a bit of video of it, regardless of who has one. But yeah, fingers crossed going into tonight. Um, like I say, there's so many fish due. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite a buzz just sitting here, to be honest, because it could go off at any minute. But yeah, until then, I'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully check in soon with a lovely carp.
well that is it guys unfortunately this session is going to be a big blank uh, first two nights back at the manor haven't produced a fish for me uh, but that's fishing I did get to see that lovely uh, 35 pounder that I told you about yesterday so that was nice um, but now I've got to get off to work it's just gone nine o'clock I'm a little bit late and I should be I'm gonna get the shelter packed away get on my toes uh, back out next week though doing a little bit of filming with tracker so I might try and document a bit of that on here but if not I'll see you real soon and uh, we'll be back out there doing same be lucky with whatever you're doing Well, good afternoon. You join me back down the manor, and uh, I'm actually halfway through a 48 hour session. Uh, the last time we spoke was on that two night blank last week, and I uh, said I wouldn't be able to get back for a week or so. I was hoping to get back at the weekend, because uh, we were away filming. Um, the filming's actually been cancelled. Uh, where we were gonna be fishing, uh, the swims were all flooded, and uh, the decision was made to move it, and we're gonna be doing that at a later date. So I thought I'm going to take advantage of it, I'm going to use a couple of my days in lieu I've still got from the shows and, uh, and get back down the manor. So I have um, got down on Wednesday morning about 10 o'clock, um, got everything sorted, conditions were fantastic, uh, big wind on the water um, and there was only one other guy down here when I got down here so you know it's always hard this place because um, fish do get caught from everywhere but I think like anywhere when you've got a choice of the whole lake it's, uh, it makes it hard work um, and I wasn't really sure where to go. Um, my heart was telling me to get on the end of the wind because it was a big strong wind um, but it wasn't a new wind um, so in the end I took the gamble and went a little bit further up from the wind because I knew it was due to change and I thought I'm going to try and slip them up as they come back past so took the gamble, jumped in the swim called Middle Pads same swim I blanked in last week so uh, not exactly the fondest memories but it just felt good, it felt good in here you know the wind was absolutely hacking down the other end like I say but if there was already fish down that end they would have to come past me and when that wind changes they were going to have to come back past me again so made that decision um, after I did that the lake filled up a little bit someone obviously jumped in that swim uh, someone jumped in opposite another guy uh, Drozzy jumped in down down in the 18 um, so a few people turned up a few people started fishing um, yeah I didn't really think much was going to happen it felt good but I thought if anything happens it's probably going to be at night um, but lo and behold couldn't believe it, it was about quarter past four um, middle rods absolutely ramped off, only fishing just out in front of me and uh, yeah an epic battle commenced um, knew it was a good fish straight away one of the other members he come running straight round um, we're playing it up and down there's a lot of big fish due at the moment so he's naming all these fish which uh, you can imagine really helped playing a big carp under the rods it was someone to knew it could be this one could be that one um, but after a, a really good battle um, I landed what was a really big mirror um, recognised it straight away, it wasn't 100% though, so I had to sort of flick through a couple of pictures um, but yeah it was unmistakable really, a uh, fish called Clover, an absolute beast um, last out at just over 48 um, and then when we hoisted it up on the scales this time it went 47 pound 2 uh, and a new PB so as you can imagine I was absolutely over the moon a real massive brute of a mirror, um, wicked sloping head you know a dink, it's like a dink, lovely squashed tail, really nice scales um, yeah just a wicked wicked carp so I was absolutely over the moon a uh, load of lads here as well so it was nice and big, that big carp buzz with a few boys um, lots of congratulating and uh, yeah got some lovely trophy shots a little bit of video footage and slipped it back so we are now going into the second half of that session um, and the conditions couldn't be any different like I said I turned up it was gloomy um, blowing a hooligan and now I've woken up today and it's absolutely stunning um, it's about 13 degrees now I think hardly any wind on the water um, but the wind is due to go back the way it was going when I first got here but only about nine miles an hour so sort of half the pace it was yesterday um, but yeah feeling good going into the second half um, but yeah if we don't catch now it sort of doesn't really matter too much when you've landed a 47 pound mirror you tend to uh, live off that for a little while so but I'm going to put all my efforts in I haven't redone the rods I'm going to do that this evening uh, it looks so good at the moment it's really warm uh, like I say and I can just imagine one or two of them getting up those shelves so yeah we'll see how we get on I'll keep you posted um, and hopefully I can show you another one before the session's out. Well, good morning, and uh, sadly, no more fish to report for myself. Um, I'm off to work now, um, so just the two nights, and uh, yeah, what an amazing fish to have. I'm absolutely made up. Uh, didn't mind if I caught last night at all. I did feel like I might, it felt quite good in here, but um, no, I'll go home with a big, big smile on my face. Um, but we did have an absolutely magical moment this morning. Uh, phone went just at first light. Knew it had to be a fish because of the time. And uh, friend Will 
down in a swim called the Pump, uh, had one of the real nice ones in there, fish called the Peach. Um, one we all thought was going to be £50, we've been talking about it for a few days. Uh, he was only sat in my swim yesterday actually saying this is one of the swims it likes and uh, it could be 50 And I photographed it earlier on in the year for friend Cav, um, and I think it was about 47 then, something like that. Um, so yeah, hoisted it up on the scales and it went 49.2. So just a colossal carp and uh, an amazing, amazing creature to see on the bank. He was absolutely blown away. And uh, yeah, it was nice to be on the other side of the camera. I got some nice video footage for him. Just really enjoy the moment. Uh, it's what it's all about, you know. It's, it's not all about catching them yourself. That to me is just equally as good. You can see the smile on their face and uh, being able to watch it first hand while it's all going on is, is wicked. And it's, and it's an amazing car, one I'd love to catch. Um, so yeah, got some video footage of that. Um, got a few stills for him. A couple of cups of coffee, enjoy the buzz. And uh, now I'm gonna get packed up and go to work and we'll come back and do it all again. So we'll be lucky with whatever you're doing and uh, we'll catch up soon. Well, welcome to another segment of the diary and we couldn't open it up with a more banging carp. I've come to my other syndicate down in East Sussex for a quick night with my old mate Butterball Don. It's a beautiful estate lake with some really lovely old carp in. Just as I got here, Don was already playing one, a lovely 20 pound common, so we got a few snippets of that. And I just got the rods out before dark and the pair of us have had a pretty sleepless night if I'm honest, landing some lovely commons. I've just put back a really nice torpedo one and at first light I've landed this absolute banger, a real, real belter to go at the top of the album. Fish we think they call the Big Lin, a 20 pounder, but does it really matter how big they are when they look like that? What a carp, I'm absolutely blown away. I wish I could stay here all day now and catch a load more of these, but unfortunately you've got to go off to work. But we'll certainly be back here because there's plenty of crackers like this to catch. What a fish. I'm gonna get some photos and slip it back and we'll see you soon. Well, good afternoon on this beautiful spring day. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just enjoying these rays of sunshine and uh, the carp really are starting to move now. I've come back down my Kent Syndicate again uh, where I had that lovely linear uh, and I couldn't resist getting back and to be honest with you as soon as I had that linear that morning and went off to work I thought I've got to get back down again. Uh, my missus is away this weekend uh, at a wedding so I thought I'm going to take advantage of it. My plans were to just have a, a weekend at home, watch the boxing that's on and, uh, and not do any fishing with all this hot weather but I couldn't resist getting back down. It just looks so good so I came straight from work again uh, on the Friday Got down here about half past six, I think, by the time I got some shopping and bits and pieces. Uh, Don was already still down here, he was doing the night again. Um, and he'd had a couple throughout the day while I'd been gone. And literally I got straight back in the swim where I'd had the linear from and where I'd been putting bait in. And the rod was in the water no more than about 40 minutes, I suppose, and uh, it was away. And I caught another really nice common, a uh, fish they call David Peckham, uh, because it's got massive pecs. It was an absolute stonker. 24-8, uh, I believe. Um, and a really nice carp. And yeah, the, the juices were well and truly flowing then and I expected it to, to carry on through the night. Um, and it did. It was a pretty good night. Um, didn't catch any real big fish, uh, up to sort of high doubles. I think I had a 17 common and an 18 mirror. Um, but Don had a couple of really nice 20 pound mirrors uh, the next morning. Uh, so I took, took some pictures of them for Don. Did a little bit of video for him, so should have a few little snippets of those. But yeah, he was made up. Couple of mirrors he hadn't had before as well. Uh, one of them was a 25 pounder as well, so an absolute cracker. Um, but yeah, come that morning, um, I had to get away again because um, I had some bits to do at home, but I thought I'm gonna come back down again. So I literally packed up first thing Saturday morning, which is today, went home, got my bits done that I needed to do, got showered, got a bit more bait out of the freezer, and I'm back down here again. So we're now Saturday afternoon, and it's about four o'clock. Um, there's no one else on the lake either, which I can't believe. I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful day. And they really, they really are starting to have it. And I think that's why I've come back down again because there's two or three really nice ones that haven't been out for a while. And, uh, and, and with them moving about like they are, I'm pretty confident. I'm gonna get a big bed of boilies out there later. Um, see if I can trip up one of the better fish because they certainly are on the feed now. I can't remember how many me and Don had between us, um, but it was five or six 20 pounders in the end uh, and some really nice upper doubles. So yeah, really, really good 
session um, and great to be back out with old Butterball Don as well. I haven't fished with Don for a few years. We were on a syndicate together uh, in East Sussex for quite a few years and other than helping us out in the comps, don't get to fish with Don a great deal. So it's going to be nice doing a bit of angling with him this year. Um, and he catches them as well, so he should better show a few of his fish off. But yeah, I'm going to get the last rod out now. I've got two out behind me and uh, one resting in the bite alarm. So I've got to get that one out. I'm getting some duck trouble down the left. So I think I'm going to leave it as long as I can until they clear off. And uh, then I can get a little bit of bait out of there. But yeah, until then, I'm going to sit back, enjoy the sun, um, drink plenty of water. And, and hopefully going into tonight, I should be able to show you a few more fish. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh my God, that was unbelievable. I was literally just doing a couple of little cut-ins on the camera and that rod has absolutely ramped off down the margin. Well, it's kited on the tight line. I could just see the rod in full compression. It's picked up a massive tree, my other line, and I don't know how I've got that in. It looks like a really nice common too. So let's have a look. 28 pound, two ounces. Mate, how much does it look like the bullet? It does, doesn't it? It's like the head. It could be his brother. Yeah. From another mother. Oh, beautiful, what a fish. Lovely. Happy with that? Yeah. Cool, now if you just, um, now you can take photos in that position. There's okay. the front bit. No, well, turn right. off the cap, turn no, off. No, don't touch it, right at the front. That so one. You literally do that. Well, just keep pressing it. You just hold it down and then press it like a normal shot. It's taking photos? I think it's still recording. All right, okay. Wow. <laughs> Wanted to get back. Jesus. Brilliant. There's that. Cheers, mate. Any words? Catch another one. Buttery fins and all that? Yeah, buttery fins. Golden flanks. Good vibes. Yeah, all the rest of it. Good times. <laughs> about that little bit of overnight magic got here late last night missus come down to do her first night of the year had a lovely barbecue enjoyed that last hour of sun and we've been rewarded with this banging common just before pack up hot cracker Well, like we all do, I did the old, should we stay here for the day and enjoy the sun rather than disappearing off? Managed to pull it off. She's happy to sunbathe for the day and I'm glad we did. We've moved up to another swim, a swim I've had quite a bit of success in already this year. It's like a northeasterly wind, um, but the sun's really warm and they seem to like it on that wind here. And uh, we've caught an absolute perler, mirror this time. And I'll show you. Check that out. Is that not absolute perfection? What a fish, put up hell of a scrap. On a spot I've had a few bites on before, down a reed line. I'm absolutely made up with that. And I'd say it's not even bite time yet, it's normally about three o'clock and we're about half two, so chance of another one, I reckon. Let's have a look at the other side. Equally as pretty. Let's give her a little bit of water. 
Oh, I'd argue this side's even better. Oh, check that out. What a fish. Lovely. Let's get him back. Well, welcome to another little section of the diary. Um, I'm back down the Estate Lake Syndicate in Kent uh, after that little overnight session with the missus the other day that turned into a, a 24 hour. Um, yeah, lovely cut of fish they were. Really nice common and that second mirror was an absolute banger. But I'm back down again for another quick night. It is about 10 to five. Um, I've got till about eight o'clock in the morning, I think. So I've got plenty of time. Um, looks absolutely cock on for it. Weather's, uh, the temperature's dropped a little bit now as well because um, I know a few of the lads caught, were catching them off the surface in the week so hopefully that little cooling uh, bit of pressure has knocked them down a little bit and we should catch a few off the bottom tonight. But yeah, it looks really good. Uh, I'm going to keep this short and, uh, and hopefully I can catch up with you soon uh, with a lovely carp. Uh, my old mate Don's coming down as well tonight so we've got two chances of showing a fish for the camera. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it's looking good for it. And hopefully we can uh, catch some of those ones we ain't had yet especially that big old common we're after so yeah we'll catch up soon well that didn't take long we've only been here about two hours big mix come down to see us for a cup of tea we sat there chewing the fat the right hand rods ripped off I caught one of the real nice mirrors one called single scale wanted to catch this one 26 12 oh check that out what a carp, an absolute beauty. Big thick sec mirror, you can go bigger this one. Absolute corker. Long fish as well, isn't it? Have a look at the other side. Absolute cracker. Well pleased with that. Not many big mirrors in here, so it's nice to get one under the belt on this lovely Thursday evening. What a fish. Get it back, see if we can catch another one. Well, no more for me last night, but in true Don fashion, he's winkled out one of the real old ones. Certainly one of the originals of the pond, this one. Crack of that Don, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely fish. A nice scale pattern, isn't it? Lovely. Quick look at the other side. Whoa, what an absolute banger. Just before we got to pack up, got the bivvies and that down, and Don's right hand rod's absolutely ripped off, and it's one of the ones I dearly, dearly want to catch. It's a repeat for Don, but you don't mind that when they look like this. Fish called Orange Spot, blind in one eye, big scales, real old mirror this one. Absolute cracker, just under 27. Well, welcome to another section of the diary. Um, we're back down the Kent Estate Lake. Um, bit of a change of plans there, so I wasn't going to be here. I was actually going to be back up the manor again and turning my focus to uh, some of the larger residents up there. But something's drawn me back down here. Um, there's still a few fish I'd really like to catch out of here this spring, um, especially the biggin, uh, which is a really nice common, uh, probably between 35. 36 maybe even 37 pound who knows but it's a really nice old common and uh, I'd really like to catch it so 
something's stopping me pulling away from here at the moment so I'm certainly going to have a, a couple more goes before I turn my attention back on the manor for the summer. Um, Don's back down again, uh, seems to be a little Thursday night club we've got going on at the moment uh, but the nice thing about this is I've booked tomorrow off as a holiday day so I've actually got tonight, tomorrow day and tomorrow night so a little bit of time strung together this time so we've got a chance of a real nice one. Also got our other mate Rich coming down tonight so there's going to be a few of us so uh, we congregate somewhere up there and have a, a few cups of tea tonight and, uh, and have a chin wag and hopefully one of us uh, will have a nice fish to show the camera but yeah got a bit of time on the sides and uh, yeah it's looking really good um, I'm in a totally different area as well I'm right up the other end of the lake and I'm in the last swim uh, on what's called the wood side um, so I've got a huge bay down to my left um, I've got two rods down there over open water over a little bit of bait just in between sort of bits of the weed that are coming up at the moment the weed isn't really up uh, but it's sort of clumps of it so I've sort of dotted myself in between two clear spots um, where I think the fish are going to be milling in and out and then I've got one rod down to my right in quite close and I've actually seen a really good common go on it twice um, so I was actually expecting a take within the last hour but it hasn't happened um, but yeah it looks really good for it I think I've got the swim choice right um, and we'll see hopefully we can catch up a bit later on with a nice carp Well, we've had to wait for this. The night's produced absolutely nothing around the pond. Recast this morning, and we've caught this little one. Possibly one of the smallest in the lake. Not the best looking fella, he's got a chewed up mouth. But it's a start, and hopefully it'll produce a few more today. Well, good morning, and, uh, or good afternoon, should I say now. It's about two o'clock, um, the night passed without any action. Uh, and I had a small mirror, I think about eight o'clock this morning. And other than that, it's done absolutely nothing. Um, there's been about four on, I think, four or five guys on, and it's just been so slow. And uh, this morning, I've just been watching them, cruising up and down, um, tried everything, been working zigs at different depths. Eventually, I found a nice clear patch, the other side of some weed on the far margin. And uh, we've got a reward, and it's a little bit bigger, this one. Quite an old common by the look of it. It's got a massive great head. A lovely tail fin as well and if it behaves I'm going to show you it oh, there you go how about that I'm not going to weigh it because it's quite warm um, but I would have thought it's about 18 um, yeah about 18 pounds something like that might be 19 pounds um, it looks a little bit spawned out if I'm honest but um, I don't think it is I think it's just an old fish and he's been big in his time and he's no longer got it but yeah it's got a wicked wicked little tail and a, a massive great head for its body but yeah absolutely made up with that and a right result with what's been a really tricky session so far but still got another night to go so fingers crossed that's perked me up now i'm on my own now the two boys have gone home there's a couple of guys i don't know uh, down here still so three of us on but yeah hopefully this is the start of a, a few more lovely well we've had another one what a result, waiting around all morning, struggling, messing about with the zigs, and uh, it's two bottom bait rods that are gone. Different spot, this one's the one down the right. Oh, I'm afraid they haven't got any bigger, but they've certainly got prettier. And a little stumpy mirror, quite a new fish this one by the look of it. Oh, look at him, what a cracker. He'll certainly do, put up a hell of a scrap, big bow wave off the spot, it's only shallow up the right. But yeah, made up with him. There you go, it's only early as well, I think it's about half past five now, so we've got plenty of time. I'm going to redo the uh, rods on the left hand side shortly, get a little bit more bait out. I'm still convinced that spot up the left is going to do a decent fish, It's uh, it's been left well alone. It's got a nice bit of bait out there now. And uh, yeah, we don't mind ones like this though in between. 
What an absolute cracker, certainly one for the future. Made up with him, brilliant. Well, we've had a right result. No more than 15 minutes after I just showed you that cracking little mirror, we've had a much better common. Oh, he's beat me up in the fight and he's still trying to beat me up now. Oh, check him out. What a carp. That's what we come here for. Whoops. Easy. Let's just hold you up a second. How about that? Just shows how quick it can all turn around. It was doom and gloom this morning. And uh, it looked like for all in, oh, all intents and purposes, it was just gonna be one of those sessions where they're preoccupied on everything else but your bait, but wasn't to be. Same rod down the right, they just done that little mirror. Like I say, it was only back out there 15, <laughs> it's gonna go again. 15 minutes and it's off again. I'm absolutely made up with that. About as good as it gets. What a cracking carp. Still plenty of time left. You never know. That big girl could still be ours. Lovely. Well, good morning. And it really is one of those perfect carp fishers mornings this morning. Mist rolling on the lake. Temperature's quite nice already. It's, uh, it's only 10 past six. Um, and yeah, it was one of those evenings last night, because I said to you when I had that comment, it just felt good for another one. It could not have felt better for another one. They just kept showing and showing um, over my right hand rod. And it was almost like there was something there that they were preoccupied on and avoiding my hook bait. It was driving me mad. I very nearly recast, but I didn't. You know, I sat on my hands. Um, and then they started showing a little bit further up the pond where the other two rods were. And I was thinking, oh no, it's gonna be one of those nights where they're on a hatch or they're on something and uh, I've got the tactics wrong. Uh, but I haven't, I had to persevere well, right the way till about 15 minutes ago, um, and the left, uh, sorry, middle rod that I found, that little clear patch, the other side of that weed that I said about yesterday, uh, it's gone up tight, it's gone solid in the weed, uh, jumped out of the bag, a little bit of a battle, um, and come in quite nicely in the end. Yeah, it looks like a nice one, and it looks like the biggest of the trip, which is always nice to end on the best one. Another common, um, it looks like a real nice one, a little bit darker than the other one as well. Um, but yeah, before I get it out and, uh, and show you, you can see it actually just out of shot there, propped in the hydro. Uh, I'm just going to take this opportunity to, uh, to thank everyone that's watched the, f the previous two blogs. Um, it's that feedback and, uh, and support and, and nice words that keeps me going and keeps me going out there doing it. And I'm going to continue to do it this year. I am going to wrap this one up here with this fish because I've got um, lots of exciting things coming up over the next few months. But I don't want to cram it all into one. Um, and also I want to try and keep that, like I said before, a little bit seasonal, sort of spring, summer, spring into summer and autumn, etc. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this fish out in a minute and show you. But yeah, just want to say a massive thanks to everyone that watches and really appreciate it and all the kind messages and that I've had. Um, but yeah, and hopefully we can, we can continue doing it. Um, I've got a really interesting or exciting tench trip coming up in the next probably four weeks, something like that. Um, been pre-baiting a, a pit somewhere uh, with me old mate Ricky who featured in the last one. Um, so we're really excited. There's a, a potential chance for a double-figured tench from there. So fingers crossed on that. Um, and then we're off to Teleats again, third week of June. So I'm definitely going to be doing some angling diary out there and um, try and get a bit of redemption. I've had a, a really successful trip there and then a not so successful trip in the middle. So I'm hoping to, to better that third time round. So yeah, really excited, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish with tea and uh, get this lovely carp out and wrap this blog up here. So see you soon. What a fish, and a very fitting way to wrap up blog number three. Once again, thanks everyone for watching. Really enjoying doing these, and good luck with all your own angling this year. And remember, like I always say, you ain't gonna catch them sitting at home, so get yourselves out there. I'll see you next time. <laughs>